Shalom, it's Jacob from Abba Echad. Just wanted to quickly recap the previous uh, lessons and then continue forward with the next source. Uh, so what we've seen is that the main experience, or really the, the Sinai experience, was before millions of free people seeing it face to face, the symbol face to face, the Torah as it was given and not as it's been printed and as it's been censored and as it's been degraded over the course of thousands of years, but as it is authentically copied with all of the transmission from the entire Torah Shabbat Pet, the point is, is that look how impossible it is to read from the written Torah without the spoken Torah, without the sages. Talmai gathered those sages because he needed them to translate it. Try to read the, the Torah without any help. Like, it's impossible, literally. And that's the point, is that the sages transmit how to even read a single word, how to understand it, how to... What is the name of every single symbol of the Alephit? What it means? That's the spoken Torah. The written Torah is very terse. It's very limited because it has to be small enough that a person can carry it. Otherwise, you can't even move with the Torah. You have to... You need, a, you know... A, help to move it a wheelbarrow or what <laughs> you know but um the spoken torah is the infinite transmission like the that's transmitted from sinai from all the from as the mishnah says from moshe to yoshua yoshua to the zikinim to the wisest elder luminary sages and the zikinim passed it to the neviim i have to check that order double check just to be sure but it is the direct transmission, and the whole point is to see it for yourself. It's the end of belief and faith. It is the beginning of knowledge and experience of the divinity, as the Targum and Cherashirim and everything states, and we'll get into that right now. So that was the last source that we did. Everything is lost in translation once we leave the actual symbols of the Alephet that are pictures, and for the visual learners, we're now trapped in a world of ugly information, of, of letters as opposed to divine stunning symbols with such depth and, and so much reason and so much purpose behind every single nuance teaches you everything it needs to. It's really an amazing thing that does not even exist. This conversation does not exist in, in, in English or any other language. Okay, and so that was the recap, and the point is to see it directly. Okay, and so let's go to page 14. You can download this booklet in the description. Mm -hmm, so some things were added. All right, we'll have to update the key. Okay, page 16 in the PDF because we added two pages with those index at the front and it's really page 14 in the booklet. Okay, and so this is um, the Vilna Gaon reveals is one of the prayers of David HaMelech before David HaMelech used to learn Torah. And it's found in the longest Tehillim, the one with eight verses for every single Aleph Bet. So eight verses for Aleph, eight verses for Bet, eight verses for Gimel. And this is one of those verses from Gimel where it says, Jal Enai, reveal my mind and the true power of the mind. Ve'abita, now look down, please. From above to below, as the sages say, the definition of abita, because as we said, no synonyms. This spe specific word for sight has to do with above to below. So reveal my mind and let me look from above to below. What are we looking at really when we're from above to below? In this context, the Torah itself, the script of Torah. And then niflaot, wonders, mi Torah from your Torahs in plural, spoken and scribed the spoken torah and the scribed torah that feminine and masculine go hand in hand that are one unity that were created as one and given as one as we had that whole conversation so niflaot is also the symbols aleph backwards and tav backwards aleph and tav the niflaot the wonders of torah is the aleph bet themselves that were given on nun the 50th day of the omer david amelech born on that 50th day but this is what the Vilna Gaon reveals, is one of the prayers before learning Torah. Please reveal my mind and my, and my eyes and let me look down at the real Torah 
in its true form and then wonders i perceive that it's all from your torah like all the wonders and all the cool things that people speak about in the world and everything is in the torah in so much more in depth and everything it's uh the greatest script ever written so i feel like people gather together to hide it so that anything else could have a chance to shine or something it's like everyone takes whatever they want from here without crediting and then just plays it off that they created something when it really it's just copying it's plagiarism however you want to phrase it it's uh, copying when we give credit it's plagiarism when we pretend that we created something when really we ripped it off from directly from the the, the script of the midrash the torah the anything that is transmitted so that is one of the prayers for david amelech that we will now behold the actual wonders are in the torah itself and uh, we will see that okay and so meaning the wonders just to finish off here i guess and then we'll create the next uh, video the wonders are in the symbols themselves once we know what each symbol depicts and you know that symbols are made up of other symbols and then the depth of what this represents and everything we'll really see those wonders and we have those videos walking through and we're going to be making more and going in depth so any comments, questions, whatever you have, please uh, let us know. Don't hesitate. And we'll try to get back in the comments section. And we'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much.